The Salvation Army's Boys and Girls Club of Tulsa are in the middle of a game-changing renovation for their kids. They're installing a new state-of-the-art science, technology, engineering, arts, math, and ministry lab at its Boys and Girls Club near MLK and the Good Creek Expressway. This afternoon, Megan Farley with Dewberry Architects and Richard White from the Salvation Army are here with us to talk more about this project. Guys, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Megan, let's start with you. Yes. Uh, let's first talk about this project, yes. kind of the, the build-up. Um, who's working on it and then when it will be done. Well, we do want to reiterate, I do projects on all architecture firms. Right. Uh, this is not a Dewberry mm -hmm. project, but we're very, very excited about it. It is by Reed Architecture. Yes. And um, again, as you mentioned earlier, it's really unique because it covers, as we know, STEM, science, technology, engineering, uh, math, but this is also arts and ministry. Yeah. And hopefully this will all be finished in just in time for the summer program when the children come in. So I'll let right. kind of Richard kind of take yeah, over Richard, that. tell us more about the educational experiences and opportunities that you guys are going to have with this. Well, it's very important for me in particular that our kids have the best technology available. We, we serve a lot of kids that, you know, maybe don't have that. And if they don't, in today's world, they fall behind. So we re literally wanted a state-of-the-art program facility to do that in and partner with creative lab solutions that put the lab in there is going to allow us to do that. Yeah, what makes this lab unique and kind of different than some other ones you've seen? I like the fact that it's turnkey, particularly for our staff. So they come in and they set up everything from the, the uh, computer lab. We have uh, some CNC machines. We're going to have a, a, a camera with a green screen. We're going to teach kids those kind of things. Um, and and it, they also provide the training for that equipment as well. So it's proprietary to them but it, it gives our staff the opportunity to train with that and get kids engaged and, and it is a ton of fun. How important is this program for these kids you know the Boys and Girls Club and, and for kids that get these experience that they may otherwise not get to do? Well you know with with STEM or as we call it STEAM uh, the applications um, kids now that aren't exposed to that in the right kind of way are gonna fall behind like we look at this project and think well it's a luxury to have this but really not having it puts us behind and and we can be an extension of the school day so if they're getting some of this at school and then at this club in the afternoon or during the summer when school's not in they can continue those kind of things and we want to use that to really start to identify kids that are interested in the steam fields and hopefully one day see them working in those fields uh, you guys have been very busy uh, Christmas obviously yeah. was a busy time for you guys tell us more about some upcoming projects that you guys are working on and and other things that maybe kids can get involved in well we take a little breather you know <laughs> but a small one we have our youth of the year program coming up um, next month so each year we choose uh, one youth for our clubs that is the outstanding youth of the year we have a, a great alumni of youth that have come through our clubs I was just telling Megan that we had this last year five NFL players in the league that came through our boys. In fact, the leading rusher, uh, Josh Jacobs, this yeah. year was a club kid. Right. So um, we're, we're getting ready for that youth of the year, highlighting those kids. Um, next month, um, we're doing with in cooperation with U.S. Cellular, a Black History Month art contest, mm -hmm. um, which keeps us pretty busy. And then you know what? It's spring break. We take a little break, and then we're right into this 11-week summer program, which is really like Christmas um, season for the Boys and Girls Club, because they're going from daylight to dark with that. Yeah, Josh Jacobs is Tulsa native, of course. Yeah. And uh, very, very quickly, how can somebody get involved or learn more about you guys? Well, they can visit our website at uh, salarmytulsa.org, and there will be a link on there to all the volunteer opportunities and how to get involved, and we'd love to, to have them come at the club. I, I really believe that working at the club as a volunteer is probably one of the more enjoyable things to do. Absolutely. So, yeah. Right. Richard, Megan, thanks yeah. for being Thank here. Thank you.